On the first day of Christmas. Normally the fucking sun would be going down. At least we have more daylight. Oh, there goes mom back in the house. On the second day of Christmas. Delilah's leaving. Delilah, you're just gonna go over there without a gun, right? Because I'm supposed to carry him for you. Lori, you're not gonna be in it this year. This one's mine. This one's, one's Daniela's. She's riding her scooter. Get the fuck off of the scooter. Shelly, you get this one. Oh, you're trying to see which one's heavier? <laughs> this is how I actually got famous. My family picture for Christmas, that was the thing that kind of got me all my followers and people that noticed me. And ever since then, the numbers just keep rising. She's blowing up across all of her social media platforms. I'm Daniela D'Angelo. I'm Daniela D'Angelo. Daniela D'Angelo. I'm here with junior competitive shooter Daniela D'Angelo. And today we are here with Daniela D'Angelo, a competitive youth shooter. There's a real buzz about her and what she does. Other people are filming her with their cameras. As far as marketing and utilizing Daniela and what she does, it's not kitschy. She's real. 939. Who got 940? Matt, I beat you by one second. Watching competitive shooters film themselves, it's normally, here's my phone. I'm not a film producer, but I was able to fix that normal back of the head staring at whomever it is that's shooting, and I did that with a GoPro. Scared the shit out of that GoPro. Yeah, I know. I was scared I was gonna hit it. Set the GoPro up, where I think the most action is gonna happen. The viewer is in the moment with you. And I think that's the hook. I think that's what I've done well. When she started to become popular, I thought, well, everyone's gonna do this. Hasn't happened yet. This is the Desert Eagle, made in Israel, also known as the Deagle, chambered in 50 AE. So I think when I was about 14 or 15, my dad posted a picture of me holding the Desert Eagle on my Instagram. And he's like, what do you think is going to happen when I shoot this? You think I'll be able to handle it? All the comments are like, nope, you're going to break your wrist. You're going to hit yourself in the head. You're not going to do it. Then I was like, OK, I have to shoot it now. And I was scared. I was honestly like shaking. He's like, you, you're you different. You have handled guns. You know how they work. I'm Daniela D'Angelo, and this is the Desert Eagle 50 caliber. I did it, and it didn't fly out of my hand or hurt me or anything, and I was just like, see guys, I can do it. And the comments went through the roof. It was just massive. 200, 300,000 views, 1.4 million on YouTube, and then all of a sudden the phone rings. Car Firearms Group, they reached out because Daniela was shooting a 50 caliber Desert Eagle. I was like, who, who is this? I had no idea and I was a total prick. And then uh, their marketing director said, well, here's our hashtags. Getting with Carr was pretty much the next step into my career. Instead of just being a sponsor, being an endorsement. Obvious fit, great people, wonderful to work with. They give us a lot of leeway. They let us be ourselves, and that's important. My dad always had this idea to make movie producers want to see me. I wanted Daniela to show her acting chops. I wanted to show her. The short films that we did, we hatched a concept and all the credit in the world to Car Firearms Group because they used Offensive Marketing Group, the OMG boys, and they said, yeah, you know what, let's do this. Three, two, one, draw. Oh, wait, I got it wrong. 
I was really excited to do the short films with Carr. Uh, we started with the Western, which was back in the past. Then we did like a mobster one. The next one was the Jane Wick, and then the futuristic one. And my favorite one was the futuristic one, even though we had to stay up till four in the morning doing that. It was really cool. It was, I would do it again a million times. Talk about proud. We show up at SHOT Show, and Carr has fully committed to Daniela. All of the screens are running all of the short films on an endless loop. Then having the folks come up wanting to have her autograph, it was just, just phenomenal. When they tell me, oh, my younger daughter loves watching your videos, she wants like your signature, my wife wants to get into shooting now, it's crazy. That's really cool to me. I love it. If my shooting life is so crazy, it's got to be pretty boring at home, right? Wrong. <laughs>